Welcome back. Today we're going to finish up the B25J, Georgie's Gal. Let's get started. All right, so this is a B25J-30. This is Georgie's Gal, or it's going to be Georgie's Gal when we're finished with it. That is going to go. But what we're going to do is go ahead and see if we can finish up some, I don't know, little details. We're missing some uh, buttons to drop bombs from the bombarder section. And we don't have a very nice paint job right now. All right, so I'm just going to walk you through a few things I did to make this model work. Um, much like the original version, I had to do some cheats with the landing gear. And uh, what else? I don't know what else I did, but I'm going to just make some notes here with you. So the first thing you will see is this pink here and this pink doo -doo 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 -doo, right here. So these are my build edits. So in order to get the landing gear to work, I had to expand this by one block. And if we go back here, I had to go ahead and round this off by these pink blocks you see here to get the landing gear to fit as well. And much like the previous version that I worked on, I had to go ahead and do some backwards landing gear. So on the real plane, the landing gear folds from the front to the back. On my plane, it folds from the back to the front. And that's because I couldn't get it to fit properly inside this. I couldn't get the previous version of the plane to fit. So this works. Uh, if you don't notice <laughs> uh, how the real plane works, it, this looks okay. It, it works. So I'll show you what that looks like when they go up. Uh, but what this plane does is it pulls the landing gear up inside and then folds it up. So there's a two stage, I guess, three stage, you know, one, two, and then the doors, a three stage landing gear thing here to get it to work properly. Uh, what else? This one's pretty simple, just goes up and shuts and that's about it. All right, so what else can we look at before we start getting this thing all painted up? Well, let's look at some of the mods. So one of the first mods it has is I have this on my B-17 as well, is the radio engine. And this is a mod by Captain Miros. So you can see the radio engine in there. And that is done by pivots and I guess the pressure gauges. I forgot what those things are called. But uh, what they do is they unfold and they make a nice radio engine. So that's a nice mod that you can find on the workshop. I will link to it if it's still up. I think he deleted it maybe, I don't know, but I'll link to it. The second mod is by N7, which is right there and you can't see them right now, but it's cow flaps. And they're not hooked up or doing anything in this model yet. I might do that later. Right now it's just so not fun to play with radiators and uh, uh, temperature in Stormworks because it's just, it's whacked. The, it, the, the engines heat up way too quick um, with not enough power to get the engines or the planes up and running. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to mess with the cow flaps and the cooling for right now. Um, but it does look cool. So let's go ahead and get inside here and we'll check it out. And there's a ladder right here. We'll just jump up. You do have to crouch. Um, one of the offsets or one of the side effects, what do you want to call it, um, about building this as a 3D import is that it is almost as scale as possible in this block game as I can get it. So if we look around, you're going to have to, oops, there's a bombay. You're going to have to kind of, I think I'm going to have to put like a block there because I keep falling through there. You have to jump through here and come to the back and it's very tight. So there was not much room for these seats. If these seats were two blocks, they would be great, but they're not. So I've used two seats back there for the gunner position. And then we've got the gunners here. And then if I can jump back through here and come down here, you have to... But wait, what? You can't get through there? Oh, that's not cool. Really? I thought you could. I feel like I could before. Okay, well, that's a problem we need to fix because you can't get to the front of the plane. <laughs> okay, so I think what we'll do is just delete these blocks and... That should do it, maybe? I don't know. Let's let's go look. All right, so there's no way I can delete those. And if I delete these, that'll do it. I guess that'll do it. Don't really like that, but I'm having to make a lot of compromises with this plane just because of the way it's to scale as possible. It doesn't have a lot of room. So I couldn't get two seats in here. It's not wide enough. So I want to see if I could make a really scale uh, B25. So yeah, I'm going to have to compromise if I want to get all the features in. So this is kind of a test, but um, it's turning out really well. The, the engines look really nice. I think they uh, import nicely. And then what I did to get the seagull uh, or gull wings is I used the new blocks 
um, right there. You can see that. So it has a nice little um, upward pitch, whereas the older versions were actually separate wing pieces. So I have a separate wing piece here and then a separate wing piece here. So uh, kind of a neat thing that happened with this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get back in the plane. Did not like deleting those blocks, but we'll live with it. We want to get this plane done and out the door, so we're not going to argue too much with Stormworks and its blocks. So let's come inside. Let's shut this up. I'm going to block this off for sure because you can't jump easily in there. All right, so can we get through here now? Yes, we can. All right, so now we can jump in here, and there should be some kind of, like, stuff. Well, it should be on this side, I think, but you should be able to drop bombs from here. And then, can we get back out? Yes, we can. All right, cool. Nice. Okay, so there is this. Looks like it's floating now. Eh, don't really like it, but we'll live with it. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, show you some of the features I want to show you. Okay, so let's turn on the inverters. And that's going to turn on the electricity for the whole plane. And then we're going to go ahead and cow flap this up. So this is a mod by N7. And you can see the cow flaps are open, letting all that nice cool air into the engines. That doesn't actually do anything, but it looks kind of cool. And with the radio engine, it kind of finishes up. So I'm curious to see what this thing looks like all painted up. And then we'll go ahead and do a run through through the whole thing. So let's get it painted. All right, so this is the website for Georgie's Gal. Um, I don't know where it lives. Does it live in Palm Springs or is it off in Chino Airport? I'm not positive. It says it was restored at the Chino Airport. So I might be able to go get some real video of this thing, which would be pretty cool. Oh, okay. So Georgie's Gal is now in Port Clinton, Ohio. So I can't go see Georgie's Gal unless she comes out to the Chino Air Museum during the air show, maybe. All right, that's fine. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some good pictures of her. All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab some colors from the reference. I think I'm going to use this khaki, but I'm not positive. Let's see Georgie's gal here. So, yeah, it's kind of an olive drab color. Uh, this would be the right olive drab, but it looks so dark compared to the color here. I think I want to go with this khaki color. All right, so we're just going to grab this color here which is the khaki. Open Stormworks back up here and go ahead and start grabbing these numbers. 88 and 76 and 56. And let's add it to this row right there. And then what else do we want to grab? We want to grab this yellow. I think Georgie's Gal has some yellow in the front. Let's check it. So Georgie's Gal has some yellow on the tips, has some yellow on the uh, front nacelles, and that looks about it. Oh, and then we got this color under here, which is probably a light grayish blue, probably. Oh, that's Heavenly Body. Looking at the wrong plane. Is that Georgie's girl? Yeah, okay. So she's running about the same paint scheme. Looks like it has a darker gray underneath and then the yellow. Okay, so we will go ahead and go with that. So uh, usually I would paint it all in one shot, but I don't want to do that because I want the inside to be a different color. No, 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 no. U.S. cockpits. Okay. So I think I want this light green for the inside um, of the plane. Could do this interior green. Mm, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out which one we want, but we'll, we'll get grab them right now. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and I think we want to go ahead and start painting on the inside. So let's grab this light one and start filling. Let's do wall fills. Let's see if we can get this going here. All right, so that's mostly the inside done. Let's go ahead and start doing the outside with the, what is it, khaki color? Let's do that. Ew, that's not good. Okay, let's try the all drab color that we got for the interior. I think that might be better. And it looks like it already is. Okay, so we'll go with this one. And we'll just quickly click through here. All right, so step one is done. We kind of got the interior done. We kind of got the exterior done. And now we're just gonna finish up on the nacelles. So let's grab the nice orange yellow or whatever color this is and get it going. Not too bad. Let's look at the picture again. It's pretty thin on the nacelle. Let's check mine again. Yeah, that'll work. 
And let's just go ahead and try the bottom. What was I going to do with the blue? Let's see what that looks like. I think that's too dark. It's going to be way too dark. So there's the first pass with the bottom, which is a dark blue. I don't think that's going to work. Let's grab a picture of the real plane and see if we can grab some color off of it. So let's see. So this one's kind of in the sun. I'm thinking it's right about... I don't know. I kind of want about maybe here. Let's grab that color. All right. So that's what we're going to use. You know, we might as well just go ahead and grab the planes color right off here. You know, eh, why not? And put it right on there. All right, let's just do a mass fill here just to get it done. Okay. All right. Not a heck of a lot of difference on that one, but that's fine. Now let's grab the bottom. That does make a big difference. All right, let's see it in Stormworks lighting. All right, so it looks good. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish off the nose art. So one thing I do not have for the nose art is the Georgie's Gal text. So let's go grab some of that. Uh, yeah, we'll use this one. All right, copy it. And we'll just paste it right here for right now. There we go. Kind of want some of this stuff too. Hmm, can we fit that on the bomber? I don't know. Let's see here. Let's come back down here. Pretty tight, pretty tight. Okay, so I might be able to get a few things in here, not by much, not, not at all much. But let's just work on the actual text first. So here's what we have to work with. Not a lot of room. Let's fit on the screen. Oh, it's kind of, kind of big, kind of big, kind of big. Let's zoom out. A lot. So I've already prepped these and redrawn them quite a bit. So what we want to do now is grab this Georgie's Gal text and paste it. All right, cool. Let's try cutting this out quickly. Just this part. And just getting this. I mean, I'm gonna have to redraw it no matter what, but like a good representation of what I'm trying to get. Okay, so let's just cut it. And let's make a new window. Just so I can make a clean start. Close that off. Let's close this off. I don't need that anymore. And now we have this. Okay, let's just cut it out and see if I miss anything. No, it looks good. Okay, now let's do it one more time. <gasps> I like opening documents. It's fun. Okay, there we go. Go Georgie's gal. Okay, cool. All right, so what we want to do is probably just drag this onto our dock and see if we can get it on there and I'm gonna scale down yes we'll scale it down all right let's scale it down it's not bad not too sure what does it look like on the plane comes out of our life. I mean, we're not gonna be able to do that. We have to work with what we have here. Okay. And let's get it going with the white. And let's just redraw. So there's that. Okay, that's not bad. So let's go ahead and Clean up the black a bit. And what we have to do is anything you see we're here with the light green, that means it's kind of transparent and we don't really want that. So what we'll do is we'll just draw through it and then we'll come back and delete 
some of these things we don't want. It's not bad. Okay, let's save this really quick. Now we gotta do Helena. Now this is a little bit tougher because it's on the other side. Hmm. I don't want to redraw it, but I think I have to redraw it. Let's see, can we warp it? So now, of course, we have to go back and clean it up a bit, unfortunately. All right, we go to Tianjin's page, grab Angela, do not adjust my images, upload, save Angela, save Helena. All right, back to Stormworks. So if everything is going well, we should be able to open up Angela. And if I measured these right earlier, she should fit just lovely. Okay, and push that there, and boom. All right, let's go ahead and grab, oops, it's not a bad color, but <laughs> what I was trying to do, which is it? I think it's this one. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna just paint these for right now. But what we'll probably do is we'll probably delete these blocks because we don't need them. And as you can see, since we used a PNG, the green is mainly all the same color. So we can just go through here and paint her up without any worries. And she blends pretty nicely into the greenish background of the plane. And there we go. I can turn off these blocks so you can see. I think she could actually go a little bit higher too. All right, let's do that. I kind of like that. So let's grab her and push her up. And there you go. So we'll just grab this because it was a block. Like that. Okay, cool. And let's paint it up. With that color. Boom. All right. Oh, that looks good. Okay, let's go back on the other side. Let's load up Helena, just grab her, and bring her over here, up, up, there we go, push it to the left, push to the right, paste it, oh, you know what, there's one thing I forgot to do, Helena's text is actually orange, so I'm going to have to redo that really quick, so let's just paint her up. And let's just take her text and orange it up a bit here. And that will be the orange side over here. You can see where we got a few grays in there. And it's coming along nicely. There we go. Ooh, not that one. There we go. Cool. All right, so we have a lot done for our first release, but as you can see, we have a big problem on the back right. So let's go ahead and get this fixed. I believe I have this already saved, but I'm not positive. Let's check. All right, so I have one left over from the P51. Let's grab it and see if it fits. There we go. Put it down by one, put it in by one. Perfect, okay, and let's grab it and Come over here, hit U, and paste. And then go like this. <laughs> Let's get rid of the old one. Leftovers here. Oops, not that one. And then let's just add it. Then we grab the other color again, and just go through here and make it all nice. And we can get rid of some of these paint blocks as well, because we don't need them. And then we'll just delete things we don't need. So if there's no color in there, okay, that one has color. That has color too, okay. And this one, so we know these. That one, that one. Okay, not bad. Put our paintbrush again. And paint over our light green interior. Woof, this gets tiring. 
Okay, so we could, if we want to, we could actually raise this whole thing by one. I don't know if we want to. We'll leave it there like that for a while. There we go. All right. So Georgie's gals looking pretty good. And I think that is about it. Let's make sure that we connected everything on the back side, front side. All righty. All right, before we release the Georgie's Gal, I thought we'd take a look at the older version. This is the Heavenly Body, and this was created from text and pictures um, from online, and just kind of measured out and trying to get the look and feel of the B25J. And so you can see pretty blocky, very long, stretchy blocks. And this was before, of course, we had new wedges. So there we go. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the 3D import. All right, so here we go. We got the 3D import. And as you can see, pretty ugly. Nothing B25-ish about it except the tail and maybe the engine uh, nacelles, which were very useful for trying to get that to look right. So that is where Georgie's Gal started off as. And now let's look at Georgie's Gal. So in the background now, we have the B25, the original version, the imported 3D version, and now Georgie's Gal all rebuilt and looking pretty with her new skin. Looks nice. All right, let's test fly it. All right, it's worth noting, this is about as scale as it's gonna get in Stormworks. So this is the right dimensions. Um, everything should be about right in positions, nacelles, engines, landing gear, wings, tail. Everything should be very close to the B25 as it really was. Okay, so let's go ahead and try flying this. So there of course are some tweaks we're gonna do, but for right now, let's just fly it as is. All right. So first off, I might want to note that I had to, if we open this up here, I had a bug with Stormworks. So you'll see that I have this rail block up there. And that's because I found out from, I think it was somebody with an N name, Neko, Nerko, I don't remember his name, but he told me that in order to get around the bug, you have to have two rails in order for these rails to actually use the brakes and hold the bomb in. So that's why we have an extra block. And we only have room for one bomb because of this plane being so narrow. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get in the seat and we'll go ahead and walk through what we have to do to get this thing in the air and so that you can fly and enjoy it. So first off, uh, we have the inverters that go on because they like go on. And now we can do our prop pitch up. All right. So let's just walk through what we have actually before we get started here. We have altitude in feet, miles per hour. We have throttle settings, pitch settings. We have battery level, which is going down fast, of course. And we have the generators. We have our engine starters, our panel lights. There we go. And we have our altitude hold and our landing gear. On the right side, we have our uh, nav lights, landing lights, bomb bay open close, our drop bomb, we have our cow flaps and we have our altitude hold. So let's just do this to like 25. So we're ready to go. And before this battery goes dead, we should probably get the engine started. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. Oh well, yeah, I was already going down. All right, and there we go. And so in order to turn left and right, use five and six. So I'm using five to turn. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and throttle this up to at least 72. It's gonna start down the runway. Now watch this thing just lift off by herself. Oh, perfect. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and look at how the altitude hold works. Turn it on. It's gonna drop down to 20 feet and hopefully not crash into the ocean. Yay, perfect. All right, what? Whoa, that is, <laughs> that's pretty low. What are we doing here? What is wrong with this thing? I've had trouble with this all day long. This is Billy's altitude hold. And for some reason, it's at a minus 30 or whatever. And I've got it pretty solid, but now it's acting silly again. So now we're at 30 feet, which is, I guess, better. Is that 25? All right, well, we'll take that. We'll have to tweak it some more, but this is Billy's autopilot. Um, so now what we're gonna do is show you the landing gear. So let's go ahead and throw that up. You'll see the first part, it goes up, and then it bends them in, and the doors close. And of course, this one 
should close. Okay, looks like we have a bug. That hasn't happened until right now. I wonder if I broke something when I pasted Georgie's girl in. Doesn't look like it. All right, well, that's something I'll fix before I upload. But other than that, everything seems to be working pretty well. And let's see, let's go ahead and turn on our formation lights, our landing lights. And you know what, let's go a little bit higher. Let's go 50 feet. There we go. And let's take a look at it at nighttime. So there are the landing lights in the front there. We have the navigation lights on the left and right wing tip. The yellow lights that you're seeing and the blue lights are formation lights. And down below on this wing, we have the identification lights. So that let them know in World War II that these lights, it was a Allied plane. All right, and that is about it. So let's go ahead and turn up the daylight again. And we seem really low. Now we're at 50 feet. All right, well, let's go to 100. We can't drop a bomb at 50 feet. So let's open the bomb bay doors. Bomb bay doors open. There we go. And let's drop the bomb. All right, well, that's it for today. Hopefully I fixed the front landing gear before I uploaded this to the workshop and you should be able to enjoy this. Of course, I'll be doing tweaks in the future, but for right now, if you haven't done so already, hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time. Bye.